Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Today's video on the Brady Bunch. Well, specifically the person who was lined up to play Mike Brady on the Brady Bunch. This actor was deemed too hot to play Mike Brady. The public's perception is what usually the better looking you are, the easier your life is. Obviously, every rule has its exceptions and no one is immune to bad luck. But it seems that for many attractive people, there are more doors open, more opportunities to take advantage of. However, maybe we all shouldn't be so quick to wish for good looks in the hopes that it'd give us an advantage because beauty can sometimes be a curse. Just ask Jeffrey Hunter. According to the book Brady Mania, everything you always wanted to know and a few things you probably didn't by Elizabeth Moran, Brady Bunch creator Sherman Sh Sherwood Schwartz's first choice to play Mike Brady was actor Gene Hackman. However, Hackman was axed by the studio Paramount. At the time, Hackman was a relatively unknown actor and didn't have any experience with television series. However, a year after Paramount vetoed the actor, they starred in the hit film The French Connection, so he seemed to get the last laugh. Next up for consideration was Jeffrey Hunter. Hunter was known as the original Captain Christopher Pike of Star Trek, a role that was later recast. Moreover, Hunter was also incredibly inter interested in playing the character, but there was one catch. He was just too darn good looking. He was too handsome, said creator Sherwood Schwartz. I said to him, uh, this guy on the show is an architect, not a model or an actor. He said, look at my face. I'm getting wrinkles around my eyes. I'm getting lines in my face. Hunter was rejected for the role and unfortunately passed away a short time later. In the end, Schwartz decided on Robert Reed, who became the Mike Brady that viewers know and love today. I always, I kind of wonder if he regretted that because Robert Reed was so hard to work with. Um, I mean, I've read many things to where they had real issues with him to where they made him set out a couple shows even because he was such a pain in the butt. All right. Uh, of course, like they said, Hunter died not too long after that. So who knows where it went. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe and please like this video, please. Please share it out. If viewership's down again. We need to get her back up. I would appreciate your help. You guys have a great day. God bless you. Praying for you.